If you're a fan of roller coasters, or even if you aren't, you're probably aware of the famous clicking, banging, or clacking sound made when a roller coaster is going up the lift hill. But where does this clicking sound come from? Despite what you may think, the clicking sound doesn't actually come from the chain itself. It comes from something known as an anti-rollback device. The anti-rollback device is a safety measure which ensures that even in the worst possible case of a roller coaster detaching from the chain, it prevents the ride vehicle from rolling back down the lift hill. The mechanism is very simple, however it is still the most effective method for roller coasters with lift hills. On the bottom of most roller coaster cars, you can see two pins which hang down. One of these pins is known as the chain dog and the other is known as the anti-rollback device. The chain dog is what catches onto the chain holding the ride vehicle in place and then the chain can pull the roller coaster to the desired height to begin the layout. The anti-rollback safety mechanism is made up of two main components, the anti-rollback device or pin and the anti-rollback teeth. The anti-rollback teeth are a series of directional teeth which are bolted to the coaster track and only allow the roller coaster to move in the forwards direction. These sharp metal teeth play a big part in the famous audible clicking sound. Hundreds of these teeth will span the entire duration of the lift hill with no gaps or breaks. The anti-rollback device which is attached to the roller coaster car is also referred to as an anti-rollback pin, anti-rollback dog, and a multitude of other names, all of which are correct. This device is always attached to the front of the ride vehicle, unlike the anti-rollback teeth which cannot move. As the ride vehicle ascends the lift hill, the anti-rollback pin slides over these teeth and then slots into each one as it commences on a spring-loaded system, which is checked and maintained daily. As the anti-rollback pin slides over the teeth, it lands in a slot, creating a clicking sound, which is where the famous roller coaster noise is created. The device is not only good in emergency situations, however, if the ride vehicle needs to stop on the lift hill for any reason, for example the next block section is not yet clear, then the roller coaster car can sit back on this device and take the strain away from the lift hill motors. But do roller coasters without lift hills, for example launch roller coasters, have an anti-rollback device as well? Every single roller coaster has some form of anti-rollback device. Even though it may seem impossible, in extreme weather conditions, launch roller coasters can actually roll back. A safety mechanism known as anti-rollback brakes are placed at the start of all hydraulically launched roller coasters. As the ride is launching, these brakes will lower, and then after the train has passed a certain point, these brakes will raise back up. This means that if the roller coaster cannot complete the layout for any reason, it will safely roll backwards down the launch and then be caught by these brakes. Launch roller coasters like this are designed to roll back in adverse weather conditions or any other scenario where it may not be able to complete the circuit. So if you ever see a launch roller coaster roll back, don't be alarmed. So now you know the safety behind roller coasters and how different safety mechanisms have been designed in order to keep guests safe. If this video has helped in any way, make sure to leave a comment down below as I always read all of your comments. Make sure to subscribe and like if you enjoy this kind of content.